What's up everybody? So today I'm excited to check out these motors that I got in the mail from MEPS. MEPS stands for Motors, Electronics, and Propellers, and they're an original equipment manufacturer based out of China. And they reached out to me and said, hey, can we send you a set of free motors to review? So here we are reviewing these motors. So let's get right into the unboxing process. I have cut off the plastic off this one. The others are all still completely boxed up, but we're just gonna pop this guy out and take a look at the motor. There was a silica packet in there, but yeah, they're nice and protected with the foam. We're gonna pop the motor out of the case, hopefully fairly easily here, because sometimes, yeah. And then in there is also the mounting hardware. So here we are. This motor is made out of 6082 aluminum alloy. It's supposed to be lightweight and strong. We'll check out the durability on these after a few crashes. Um, it's also got a CT4 titanium alloy shaft. It also should be lightweight and strong. So uh, also in the bottom here, we've got a hexagon uh, socket screw instead of a uh, kind of those clips, which everybody hates. So that's a good move. Um, it's 12.9 grade, so it should be pretty impact resistant. Um, you know, should be a pretty high speed, uh, lightweight motor that could take some impacts and we'll check that out. Looks like we've also got some nice windings, some single core windings on this instead of the stranded wire. So that's looking pretty good. Looks like some nice quality magnets. I do appreciate the uh, attention to detail here where they've secured the wires into the motor. It's always nice to see that. And it's got some nice heat shrink coming up. And it feels like a nice quality silicon wire as well. So that's all looking pretty good. I do that they uh, appreciate that they look pretty sleek. Um, they look like some motors that I've seen before. I can't quite place it. Maybe you guys can help me uh, figure out who they manufacture motors for if these look familiar to you. I do like the orange color. It's gonna give a little pop to the build. I usually fly exclusively black stuff, but they should look pretty cool on the build. All right, we have finally made it out to the field to give these MEPS motors a try. So I'm gonna plug the drone in, drop it down and just give it a quick hover test to make sure everything's playing nice. Make sure everything's on correctly. Okay. Very good. And this is my first flight with these, so we're just gonna get kind of warmed up and see how they feel. They definitely feel good. The response seems more linear maybe, which people say a lot, but uh, I don't know. I'm used to flying some different motors and these definitely feel different. I don't know what to say about them quite yet, uh, but they feel very good and controllable. I've been flying a very similar KV to these, uh, so I didn't expect a huge difference, um, but yeah, they're pretty grabby. They feel good. And you know, I've been flying the same motors for so long, it's a possibility that uh, I haven't felt anything different in a while, and these just feel different, but they feel good. Try to stay away from those people that are fishing over there. They might think it's cool, but they might not.
They feel so smooth. Brand new bearings, awesome motors. Hard to say, but I'm gonna keep testing them for the first pack. I'm really liking them. Like really liking them. Shout out to MEPS for sending them out to me. Uh, I know they do some uh, electronics, uh, like speed controllers, I'm sorry, ESCs, electronic speed controllers and flight controllers, things of that nature too. So it should be interesting to see what they have to bring to the market. So if you guys wanna see some more reviews, just uh, drop a like and a subscribe and we will check you out on the next one. Thank you.